Hi everyone, this is Amy and welcome back to our coverage of the Norwegian epic cruise ship's journey through the stunning Dutch Caribbean islands. In this video, we docked at the colorful island of Curaçao. We had reserved a half-day excursion tour through Norwegian called the Curaçao Highlights and Mambo Beach. Our tour began with a panoramic bus drive around the capital city, Willemstad. Willemstad is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, acclaimed for its colonial architecture and European-style layout. We saw several landmarks like the Queen Juliana Bridge, which is the tallest bridge in the Caribbean. It's a four-lane road bridge that stretches over St. Anna Bay and serves as a replacement for a previous structure that had collapsed back in 1967. It measures 1,640 feet or 500 meters. Our first stop was at Landwis Chobolobo, a distillery where we had the opportunity to taste some of the local liquor real early in the morning. The distillery is known for its blue-colored liquor, which is made from the peels of bitter oranges only found on Curaçao. There is a souvenir shop and we purchased some curacao liquor to bring home. This was a very quick stop and we were back on the bus touring around the island which has amazing views and our tour guide provided plenty of information about her island. Next we made our way to Mambo Beach where we spent a few hours relaxing and exploring. Mambo Beach is a spectacular man-made stretch of sand lined with an array of restaurants and shops, so there's truly something for everyone. Mambo Beach is a great dive site with a wide array of marine life, coral reefs, and exciting features. I rented snorkeling gear at BLVD Divers Curacao, who were very knowledgeable and friendly. I found a small opening in the water and it felt like I had come upon finding Nemo World. And then I decided that that's it, my next step is to take the scuba diving course. For around $20, we had a huge plate of delicious nachos from the beach restaurant El Grill and El Mexicano. After some time at the beach, we boarded the bus again and returned to the ship. On our way back, we realized the day was so beautiful and we wanted to see more of the city on our own. So we decided to take a taxi back out and explore further. Our community is growing each day and we'd love to have you join us. Hit that subscribe button and be a part of our travel adventures. Our driver took us to a scenic overlook at the top of the city where we enjoyed panoramic views of the entire city. We then drove towards downtown and our super friendly driver Erwin from Taxi 73 left us to enjoy a walk through the colorful streets. He speaks English, Spanish, Papiamento and some French. Mi nombre es Erwin, mi apellido es Summer, Taxi 73. Está bien, regresamos. Sí, pronto. El mejor país del mundo, Curaçao. Sí. Disfruta. I will be putting his information in the description below. We saw some incredible sculpture as we walked through the town, including the Punda Heart sculpture, also called Lock Your Heart. It's a symbol of love and commitment, and visitors can attach a lock to the heart to symbolize their own love stories. Chichi means big sister and is created in the shape of a voluptuous, vibrant woman intended to represent the beauty, strength and resilience of the island's women. Serena Israel, a local artist and entrepreneur, is credited with inventing the Chichi sculpture. As we walked the street of downtown Willemstad, we met this lady who has painted the whole street with her art. It is spectacular. 
Galleria Jan Girigori is a well-known art gallery in Wilhelmstad. Her highly sought-after work is displayed at the United Nations, the Embassy of the Netherlands in Washington, and is exhibited in museums and galleries across Europe, Latin America, the Caribbean, and the U.S. Curacao is known for its vibrant and colorful architecture, and this lady's art adds to the beauty and creativity of the area. If you have the chance, I highly recommend visiting Galleria Jean Girigori. As the sun began to set, we walked back to the ship, which was just a short distance away across the moving Queen Emma Bridge. This pontoon bridge across St. Anna Bay connects the Punda and Atrabanda quarters of the capital city. It is an exciting experience. People run towards the bridge when the alarm sounds just to watch the bridge move. First the pilot sounds the alarm, then the gates close, the bridge moves out of the way for boats and then comes back to its original position. Curaçao is a fantastic experience and we were thrilled that we took the time to explore beyond the beach. Curaçao has so much to offer and I can't wait to return for a longer stay and discover even more of this beautiful island. Thanks for joining me today on this tour of Willemstad Curaçao. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos and until next time, happy travels!